fucking event. Uh, this guy is emotionally shocked because he went to the doctor and the doctor started with questions around his children's gender identity. And uh, yeah, I warn you guys, uh, the hospitals, the doctors, you're going to have to start shopping. You're going to have to start knowing the difference. There will be a massive generation of doctors who will all have been trained in today's university, and they will be totally pushing this Marxist crap. You're going to have to find very weird doctors uh, who, who think differently from the system, and there will be less and less of those. DK Shadow says, I refuse treatment. Yes, that, that is something you you should learn. You should not only learn, but you should teach it to your friends, to your family, to, to children. You do not have to consent to treatment. Uh, and be careful of kind of consenting through inaction. Uh, consenting because you can't quite say it. I refuse treatment. A uh, very dangerous situation. Let's hear the, the father here. I'm literally on fire right now. I just got off the phone with my wife, who took my nine and seven year old boys. Error. Wife, nine and seven year old boys, sent to a, an organization of the state. You're actually lucky they haven't convinced her to kidnap them from you to the doctor today to get physicals for tackle football and school next year and all that other shit. The first, my nine-year-old son went in first and the first thing this woman... See how they get to you? You're forced to go get the physiological exam for the soccer subscription so that they can play soccer next uh, during the summer. And that forces you to get in front of a doctor, and then the doctor can push the gender non-conforming non kind of propaganda. ...asks him is if he identifies as a boy, a girl, gender fluid, or non-binary. My son, he's never heard of any of that shit before. You've been dealing with him your whole life. He is clearly a boy's boy. So what are you trying to plant a fucking seed in his head? This guy is a little too emotional and not enough intelligent about his reaction. Uh, the reaction should be understand the system, understand what's being pulled against you, and avoid for the future, develop a strategy for the future. You're not going to reason with these doctors. These doctors are following whatever Marxist priors they have themselves or their institution imposed on us. You're going to have to find a lifestyle in which you don't have to submit your children to gender propaganda so they can play soccer. That is what you have to do if you're a rational man. What I see here is not a rational man. You are reactive. They're going to take all of this anger and they will eventually use it against you. If you have a, a video reaction like this and in 12, in, when your kids get 12 year old and he does say, oh, non-binary to the doctor, you are in trouble, my friend, because you're being too emotional about it. You seem like someone who's making an ideological blockade about it when really what you should be doing is take the means to protect yourself from the state. Take the means so that you don't have to submit your children to this. But you do because you're a fucking normie who wants your children to play soccer. Uh, the title of this stream could be The Price of Soccer. I, the only thing I could be thankful for is that my wife took them instead of me. And props to my wife because she said something. And if she didn't, they would ask my seven-year-old son the same damn question. The Marxists will tell you that questions don't hurt. That anyways, it's good for them to be habituated to the fact that there are people who think differently. 
This shit is ridiculous. And to the people out there to think that there's nothing wrong with that, and I'm just a, a, a transphobe or all that shit, you're fucked up. Well, uh, they still have power and they still control the, the hospitals. So how do we set a life forward where you don't have to go to the hospital or to whatever this clinic was uh, every year? You only go there when your child has a leg chopped, basically. This is bullshit. And there's something wrong with you. Well, uh, not very productive. But again, uh, I hope that this guy rationalizes here and understands the state is your enemy. They have trained these doctors to be practicing this as their professional standard. And, and there is no way but to withdraw from society. And there will be cost. This is why I'm, I'm kind of pissed at this kind of guy. Because I, I, I know this kind of guy. I come from families filled with these kinds of guys. These kinds of guys who would know that the gender crap is evil. But they wouldn't know how to protect themselves from it. And they would eventually succumb to the gender crap, to the vaccine because they want this little advantage they're willing to they're willing ah oh, well i do have i do want to go on this vacation in europe this summer and so i thought maybe i would get the vaccine and then i thought oh well may if i get the vaccine i might as well give it to my children it, it is always this society makes you the offer of the devil and you guys keep biting again and again Find a way for your life not to need a physiological exam every year for being a fucking sportsman or competing in whatever crap soccer matches you've prepared for your children and for your own social self-aggrandizement.